Vexels just upgraded their designer tool, and it's a game changer. With tons of new design templates and one of the most powerful vectorizer on the market, it's never been easier to create standout designs. Plus, they are offering a 35% discount on all their subscription plans for a limited time, so now it's the perfect moment to jump in. In this video, I'll show you how to use the new Vexels designer to create stunning print-on-demand designs in just minutes using the ready-made templates. So, let's jump in. So, Vexels, the platform platform that provide different different design elements and design graphics and recently they have also added many design tools to their platform and for this video we're going to concentrate on the designer emerge designer tool and you will find a link in the description that will take you directly to their merge designer so once you press on it you will find lots of templates that you can choose from in addition to the projects a tab for your projects that you have been working on or you get the option to design from scratch so for the templates, they have categories for the templates, like the latest templates, the streetwear, the vintage, the cartoon, or simply decide to design from scratch. So let's press on the from scratch tab. And here you will find many templates that you can use to start work working on. So I'm going to choose the t-shirt template. And one of the best things that Vexels can provide is, one of the best things that Vexels provide is to the option to toggle between a t-shirt and an artboard style so you can see directly how the design looks on a, on a t-shirt so from the left side we can see that all the templates that we have seen at the beginning is there we i'm going to choose one of the templates i like this one so let's press on it and it will be placed directly on the artboard so this is how the design is going to look on a t-shirt you can select all the design elements and stretch it to see how it's going to fit on the t-shirt and it, it looks really nice and this is one of the great options that Vexel, Vexels provides. So now let's switch off the t-shirt mock-up and adjust the design to fit our artboard like so. So let's say I would like to change this cat design. We have once you press on it you will find the options to replace it or to redesign it. So let's redesign it and this will show us this message. We have to convert it to a pixel format so that we can redesign it. And if we press OK, we will get the option to redesign the graphic from the left menu. So as you can see, we can preserve the design essence so that we get a similar image in the same design. Or we can just, so we can write here what we would like to uh, to have. So I'm going to write replace the cat for a dog. And we can change the number of results to four and press on the redesign button. And as you can see, we see that we are struggling the preserve the design essence on to keep the design style as is and get generated images in the same style of the current image that we have and this will take a couple of seconds and we are going to get four images and if you see at the top there is the remove background button is toggled on so if we press on any of these four generated images it will automatically remove the background and place it on the artboard so i like this one so i'm going to press on it and this as you can see the the, the background is being removed and the, the image is placed on my artboard so let's adjust it like so and if you press in from the left menu we have the templates the text the elements and the upload a graphics button in case we would like to change or add any graphics from outside and on the right side, we have the design settings, the layers. So let's press on the layers tab. I would like to move, I would like to move the dog image behind the text. So I'm going to find, yeah, this is the layer of the dog image and I'm going to move it behind the, the text like so. And this is how you can use the layers tab or the layers panel to adjust or to, uh, to move your, any of your desired layers. So also we get the options to remove the background apply mask or vectorize any image once it is selected and also there are some effects that only apply when the image is pixelated or when the image is not a vector so if we press on the black and white and change the opacity you can see that now the image looks very similar to the cat image as it is in complete black and white so let's move back the savage uh, or the dog image to the front like so and press on it again adjust it and let's Let's try some other effects on the image. So this is how the image looks like in a vintage photo style. And this is how it looks in, in a noise style. So these are really cool effects.
effects that you can add to any of your images before vectorizing it of course so let's now press on the vectorize button and you get the option to choose the number of colors but before that now let's try to find another template and work on it and this is how you can easily change any template to fit your design preferences now let's try to find a new template this one is cool i'm going to press on it and this will automatically replace my current template with the new one and the design is placed on the t-shirt mock-up and you can always stretch it to see how it is going to fit on the t-shirt like so but for now let's uh stretch it back and change the artboard to a normal artboard and from the colors palette you can simply press on any color template to change the whole template of the design so just press on the template that you like and the whole color collection will be placed on the design but i'm going to go back and from the design settings you can change the background color like so so if you would like your t-shirt to be, for example, the, the design to be on an orange t-shirt, you can simply change the background color to see how it is going to look like. And you can also have the option to add some texture. But let's try to, to, to see the vectorizer on this image. So press on the image and press on the vectorizer and change the number of colors to 12 or whatever number you would like to see and press on the vectorize image and the image will be converted to vector in a couple of seconds. And by vectorizing the image, I mean you would be able to change the colors of the image and change its size without any problems as it is not going to lose any resolution. So this is how the image looks like after being vectorized we can remove the background color which is white by simply selecting the white color and changing its opacity to come to zero of course only we only get to see the colors palette if the image is a vector image again you can choose any of the colors of the image and change it so let's for example change this color to gray or something this area or maybe choose the back uh, the color dropper to to match one of the other colors like so finally let me show you the ai design styles that vexels provide so i'm going to choose a new template so this time we're going to choose this pose up template again once you press on it it will be opened on your artboard so for the main image i'm going to press on the redesign button and press ok to convert it to pixels and this time i'm going to switch off the preserve design essence and choose one of the styles of the ai styles and gen uh, provided by vexels i like this digital art style so let's press on it and i'm going to write a cute dog playing with a soccer ball and also i'm going to change the number of results to four and press on the redesign button again we get four different images i like this one so i'm going to press on it to be placed or to to replace my current graphic and since the remove background button is switched on the image will be placed on the artboard without the background as you can see so let's stretch it to fit the design dimensions like so and now for our text we can press on it and change the current text or press on the rewrite quote at the top to generate a new text but before that let's change the color of the text by pressing on the orange color and i'm going to use one of the colors of the graphic to to place it on the text using the color dropper tool and adjust these graphic elements to the sides so if we press on our main text now so now let's go back and vectorize the image pressing on the vectorizer also choosing 12 colors and press on the vectorize image and this will convert the image to vector and now i'm also able to edit the colors of my image so if we press on it we get to see all the colors of the image so let's change this color to something darker and you can play with any color to see how it looks on your design so again i'm going to change the color of the main text to fit one of the other co new colors of my design and after you are satisfied with it, the new colors you can simply now let's press on our text and press on the rewrite code to change the main text and this will generate four new text suggestions that you can use to replace your current text so let's press on the length and change it 
too short and this will generate four new hex bolts and you can you can keep doing that until you will find something that you like so if you press on any of the generated text it will be placed automatically on the artboard and replace the previous text you can also play with the mood or the language and generate new text so it is very simple to create new designs on vexels using the ai image generator and the code generator now let's um, say this is the our final design i'm going to delete these elements i don't want these design elements and this is how our design is going to look like on a t-shirt so once you are satisfied with the final design make sure to have it placed on the correct borders of your artboard and then press on the download button you get the option to download it as a transparent uh, with a transparent background or to include texture on your design and by the way you can add the textures from the design settings tab just press on the, any of the textures that you like and it will be placed directly on the design and then you can download the design in different formats a png or an svg or jpg format and these are the current plans that vexels is providing and of course you can still add the 35 percent discount to this price and this is what they are running nowadays you can use the up this code to get a 35 percent discount on all of these plans that they are having so and this is the 35 percent code that you can use to get a 35 percent discount on the current plans that they have right now so they are running this for a limited time and i think it's a great opportunity to catch this discount before it expires so that was a quick tutorial on how you can use vexels designer to create designs in seconds with their amazing templates so if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for future tutorials. Thanks for watching.